Hi guys, welcome to Medical Mega Mind channel. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel for more medical videos and press the bell icon. In this video, I am going to discuss the developmental anomalies of face. Face is formed by the fusion of various components. Failure of fusion of various components leads to the developmental anomalies. Before starting the developmental anomalies of face, you should know some basic labelings. This is frontonasal process, medial nasal process, lateral nasal process, maxillary process, mandibular process, and finally the primitive mouth stomatodium. The first anomaly is the hair lip. You know hair or rabbit has a median cleft in their lip. That's why the name is called hair lip. There are many variants in the hair lip like unilateral hair lip, bilateral hair lip and median hair lip or cleft lip. First, unilateral hair lip. See this diagram. When maxillary process fails to fuse with the medial nasal process, unilateral hair lip will occur. Bilateral hair lip. See this diagram. When there is a failure of fusion of both maxillary processes with the medial nasal process, then bilateral hair lip will occur. Midline cleft in the upper lip. See this diagram. If there is any defect in the development of the lower part of the frontonasal process, this leads to the midline cleft lip. Oblique facial cleft. If there is any failure of fusion of maxillary process with the lateral nasal process then oblique facial cleft is seen. In this case the nasolacrimal duct is not formed. Now see this diagram. The middle part of the nose and middle part of the upper lip are formed from the frontonasal process. The upper cheek and lateral part of the upper lip are formed from the maxillary process. The lower part of the cheek and lower lip are formed from the mandibular process. The maxillary process and mandibular process fuse each other from behind to forward direction. If fusion stops at right position, then normal sized mouth is formed. If fusion of maxillary process and mandibular process extends more in the forward direction, then size of the mouth will decrease leads to the microstomia. Inadequate fusion between the maxillary process and mandibular process leads to the wide mouth because fusion stops early that's why leads to the macrostomia.